If you do not focus on this one thing, then your short film will be sh and I'm talking about folly and sound design and how it can dramatically change your short film for the better. It can literally give it a new life if you just focus on it. Now, if you're a new filmmaker and you've made a couple films and you haven't really focused on sound design and folly and music as well, then you're putting yourself at a massive disadvantage, a huge disadvantage because all these elements can give your short film wings. It can transform it. It can turn it into something completely fresh, different and new. And if you don't know what folly is, Folly is just basically sounds that we hear every single day in our everyday lives, such as, I don't know, picking up cups, walking, footsteps is a big one, people moving, clothes rustling, stuff like that. And the thing is, in every single film, it's there, but we don't pay attention to it because we're so used to hearing it in our everyday lives. If you was to take all those noises out, we'd notice. So it's very important that you at least take the time to get into a somewhat controlled environment and record those everyday sounds to input back into your film. Now, if we're talking about sound design, we're talking about sound effects, music, sounds that we don't normally hear on an everyday basis, sounds that we create ourselves or we take from one of the many sound libraries on the internet. What I'm gonna do now is uh, I'm gonna show you a clip from my next short film, which I've been trying to make for ages, but I just wanna show you how much of a difference sound design and folly, when it all mixed together, makes. So I'm gonna show you a clip where I've not added anything to it. It's just what came out of camera. So let's go, let me show you. Love you. Okay, so that wasn't too good. Let's rewind that back and play the scene again, with this time with all the sound design and folly added. Love you. Love you. Ain't that just a little bit better? Let's dive in a bit deeper and go into what sounds and folly that I actually added. So I just wanna quickly walk you through my timeline here. The first thing what I do normally is I make sure I label all my audio and video tracks. As you can see on the left, I've labeled them all just so I'm more organized when it actually comes to editing. And I've also color coded each of the clips. All the clips in green are for folly. All the clips in mango, I think, is for sound effects. And all the clips for my ambient noises is in pink or purple pink that's pink in it it's pink and in yellow i've got music super super helpful keeps it visual and keeps me super super organized as well another quick tip as well is just to not slap on one sound effect and leave it as is it's best to layer it so for instance this beat here where we're pushing in onto the actor's face i really wanted to create a moment and i wanted to hard cut into the next scene so i added quite a few horror sound effects from trying films and from Artlist IO. As you can hear, the rain, the footsteps, the, the, the car, everything here is literally re recorded and inputted in back into this editing system. I would say I did experience a lot of glitchiness with Premiere Pro. The bigger this film got, the more clips that I had added into it, the more sounds I was adding to it. It did slow it down a bit, and that's a bit weird because my computer is pretty beefy. So I don't know, maybe a next update would be able to resolve that. But I've also been exploring moving to DaVinci Resolve at the moment, and it just runs so smooth. It just runs so smooth. Anyways, it's that another video. I just wanted to talk about how I've labeled my tracks, how I've color coded them and how everything's from all of, all of this bit here is just sounds that I've recorded and put back in.
it's all fake but it just adds so much to the film so if you're going to take anything away from this video just remember how much of a difference sound and folly will make to your short film and that's everything you hear in the big movies are sounds that have been recorded and tweaked and manipulated to make you feel a certain way or the way the filmmaker wants you to feel and the software i use which speeds up my workflow like crazy when trying to find all kinds of sounds and sound effects is sound lee it's amazing it literally lets you drag and drop any sound effect you want straight into your editing system but anyway Anyways, my name is Jermaine and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.